Okay, so last week I went on Amazon and I ordered a stylus for my iPad. Now the stylus that I went with was the Adonit Pixel. Apparently, according to the reviews at least, it is the next best thing since the Apple Pencil. And the reason why I couldn't get the Apple Pencil was because it wasn't compatible with my version of iPad. I'm using an iPad second generation iPad Air. Now, the Apple Pencil is only compatible with the iPad Pro, so I needed to find a workaround, so I went ahead and purchased this stylus. I mean, either way, I was gonna need a stylus if I wanted to draw. Now, the iPad that I received, I got it from a family member who gave it to me as a gift because they're upgrading their iPad, and I wanted to take it under my wing to see what I can do with it when it comes to digital design. Since I normally use a laptop with Photoshop and Illustrator, and I'm using a Wacom tablet, uh, I think this would be more efficient and more timely and I can just get my projects done quicker and it's more portable. Let's face it, I don't have to carry all that stuff around. So I went with this stylus and so far, right out of the bat, I can tell you that the pen feels great when it comes to the weight of it. Now I've heard mixed reviews online and I've seen some videos of mixed reviews where they're dealing with issues when it comes to stroke not registering, when it comes to pressure sensitivity and not working, and also palm rejection. But I don't really know if it's the pen, I don't know if it's the hardware, and I don't know if it's the software or the, the app that you're using. For example, I heard that on Sketchbook, the stroke registers perfectly fine and it's, the stroke just works better and the, the uh, palm rejection works better. Now I hear that there are issues with the palm rejection and the stroke when it comes to Procreate. Now, for the sake of this video, since I just got my iPad and I just downloaded Procreate and I just got this stylus, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with Procreate to find out what issues I can come up with or what issues I run into, rather, and see what solutions I can come up with because each app has to have their strengths and weaknesses and I'm gonna go through all of them individually as I go along. So, what I need is to basically plug this pen into its charger, which goes into the USB port. It just plugs right into your USB 2.0 port and it charges through a magnet. Now I gotta say, this magnet is pretty heavy duty stuff. I mean, it's no joke. All you gotta do is hover the pen and doop, the pen goes right into that port. So that's how the pen charges. Now you can charge it for an hour and it'll give you an estimate of eight hours of working time. So that's good. So I did realize when I brought it out of the box and I just started drawing on the iPad using Procreate, I did realize that the stroke didn't change. In other words, the pen sensitivity wasn't functioning. However, that was user error because I thought that I had, that I synced the pen to the Bluetooth when in fact the pen did not sync and just just to let you know if you buy this thing and you pull it right out of the box it's gonna start working it's gonna work just like any other stylus now in order to use pen you know the special features like the pen sensitivity then you would need to sync it through Bluetooth so if you bring this thing out of the box and you find out that all you're getting are fat strokes not to worry it is not the pen it is completely you so here's what you got to do you just go into the settings you configure it you got to sync it through Bluetooth a couple of check marks in your settings and then you'll be good to go now I did still notice however after I synced it with Bluetooth that my lines were registering it was going from thin to thick depending on the pressure that I applied to the pencil but some of them weren't registering so if I draw circles or swirls some of the swirls would just kick right off the canvas. So the issue that I am having with the stroke not registering may be because of the pencil, it may be because of the app, but in my particular case, it could even be the case that I'm using. Now the case that I'm using is an OtterBox case, okay? And it comes built in with a protective screen on the case itself. So what I did was I went online and I ordered an anti-glare matte finish screen protector for my iPad, including a rubber 
uh, protective sleeve to go around the iPad itself. So what I'll do is I'm gonna post another video. Once that stuff arrives in the mail, I'll slap the anti-glare matte screen protector on my iPad with the vinyl or rubber protection. And then I'll post another video to see if indeed it is the pen or the app or if it was the case. So till next time, if you find any value in these videos, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for your support. I look forward to seeing you again next week. See you on the flip side. Take care.